So it's the maiden flight of the air model sword. And uh, Mike got this from uh, Buddy RC while we were up at the Stone Blue Airlines event uh, last Friday, I believe. So we're going to give it a test. It's a really nice looking plane. Like I said, it's called the Sword. And very nice build, too, easy to build. Nice little pocket to put the battery in. Probably could fit two batteries in that hole. And of course, the Orange RX receiver. Why not? Whoa, a lot of DR. Okay, so we added a little reflex to the Elevons, a little more DR, and some Expo. Keep it going. Oh, what do you think now? I don't know. It's something still fun. Well, it looks like the CG is off quite a bit because it's way back here in front of the motor instead of up further like it should be. So we're thinking about just sticking another battery in there and give it some more weight in the nose. Of course, if we get FPV gear on here, that might compensate for it. Okay, here we are again. This time with an extra battery for weight. I think you're actually uh, got both batteries are the same. They're 850s. 853 cells, but they're not both hooked up. Just one's for weight. All right, it's calm right now. Oh yeah. It's a little touchy, but it's flying. I think this is made to be a racing wing. Yeah. I think Mike's got a grip on it. Yep. It probably could still use more weight in the nose, but it's doing a lot better. The CG was definitely in the tail heavy area. We don't want it going in a tree, but I think we're, we got it dialed in better for a windy day and it's down. Good enough. Now we'll work on the rest of it. Compartment. Okay, we're moving the ESC from the battery compartment. That's what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. And put and it put it right up here between the fins. Yeah, we'll have to look up online see where the CG is. For sure, maybe somebody knows. It's such a new wing that uh, we don't know that much about it. But. Yeah, I, I couldn't find any information on YouTube. Apparently, uh, it's such a new plane that just nobody's really tested it yet. It's very light and durable. We gave it the test. A couple of crashes, no damage. Nice EPP. Seems very good. So yeah, moving the ESC here and bigger battery in the front. And of course, later FPV. <laughs> Gotta have that. That's right, that's right. Okay, we're back with the Air Model Sword, part two. And the changes that have been made to it now, Mike has changed the CG quite a bit. Even added a couple lead weights to the front here and a bigger battery. Looks like about a 1350. Or These weights could be removed when FPV is added. But we're going to try it like that and see if the CG is better. Looks like it is. I had to question there for a minute. But yeah, it's flying good. Okay. Looks like it's doing much better. Pretty stable. Oh, all right. So how to do? It much better. It's still a little bit floaty, but uh, uh, all in all, much better flight than last time. So there is the sword compared to the mini pop wing right there. And you can kind of see the sword is a third bigger, at least a third bigger than the mini popling. I think it was a, was a 900 millimeter, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That's what it, what it is. So anyway, let's put it on the CG stand. So after putting it on the CG stand here, 
what we have right now, I put a couple of green dots where this stand was located when it was balanced. It's about 195 millimeters back from the tip of the nose right here. I think that was uh, 7 and 5 eighths inches. So I'm on a website here called FWCG, that's Flying Wing CG dot 3D zone dot DK and they've got a pretty cool calculator here and we put in the numbers right down here basically wingspan it had to be in inches I couldn't change it to millimeters unfortunately but it's 35.75 is the wingspan wing cord is 11 inches tip cord was 6 and sweep was 12 and what we came out with was a CG of around 7 inches and I think that's just uh, about 180 millimeters okay we added uh, four washers to the front right here and that just that just moved the CG forward just a smidge like maybe uh, half an inch I would say something like that we're just gonna see what that does okay going for another test with some washers on the front to move that CG forward just a little I think we figured out needs to be more like 180 millimeters from our calculator our flying wing calculator on the internet okay I hear a mower but at least it's not on our fairway don't see anybody I think we're good. Uh, all right. <laughs> Looking good. Wow, that thing's fast. Oh yeah, power down and you can, it might be even more stable. Oh yeah, that's flying nice now. It really is. I think around 180 millimeters is the ideal location. Beautiful. It's really stable now. Yeah, super stable. Oh yeah. Out, way out there. It's big enough where you can see it pretty good. Yeah. Got it flying slow now. It really didn't need that much power, did it? No, it's got way more power than it needs. Let's circle around time. Sounds like a landing. Nice. You about need a football field to land it in. It glides very well. Yeah. And once it's trimmed out and the CG is right, it really glides. It really does. Handles the wind well, too. <laughs> yeah. It is a little bit windy out here. You can see the trees blowing around. So, yeah, it did well. So, I guess that's a wrap for this video. We might have a part three when we put FPV on it. Oh, and see yeah. if Mike can can do FPV, but uh, we've got some gear on order, or at least it's in the budget. Yep. To put on the plane and see how it does. Probably go with 5.8. All right, that's it. Uh, that's it for now. We'll uh, catch you later. Take care, Mike.